Welcome to this GeoGebra demonstration of proving that four points can make a parallelogram. Please open GeoGebra and enter the four points uh, that I have here. Remember that you can enter a point by the input bar. Let's say I say E equals open parentheses uh, 4 comma 3 enter and it places point E here at 4 comma 3 or I can place a point by uh, clicking where I want the point and that will also be entered. Alright I really don't want these points here I think I will take the selection tool, select this point, and backspace, delete it, select this point, and delete it. So pause this screencast and open GeoGebra and put these five, four points into GeoGebra. Don't worry about any of these other items. Continuing, after you have the four points, we're going to make a quadrilateral out of these four points. So I will take this menu option and select segments between points. It tells me to select two points to put a segment there. So I'll select A, B, and then B, C, C, D and D A. To prove this is a parallelogram, we will use slopes. If I wish to calculate the slope of segment B C, I will need to use the slope formula, subtracting the y's and subtracting the x's. Here is an example of what the slope calculation looks like. And please do the slope calculation yourself and make sure that you get three-fifths for an answer. Now, we can use GeoGebra to calculate this slope. And to do so, in our angle measure menu, we have finding the slope. So if I get to this tool, and to use the tool, I need to select the line or the segment I wish to find the slope of. So I'll click here, and it tells me that the slope is 0 0.6. I'll move this 0 0.6 over to here make it look better. Now what about the side opposite this side? Well, if I wish to find the slope here, it is also 0.6. So that the slopes are equal, which means this segment is parallel to this segment. I can also find the slopes of these segments. This slope is 3. This slope is also 3. And so these opposite segments are also parallel. So what have I proven here? I've proven that segments AB and CD both have slopes equal to I'm sorry that slopes BC and AD both have slopes of 0.6, that AB and CD have slopes of 3. Therefore, both pairs of opposite sides of this quadrilateral are parallel. And if that is true, thus the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So a parallelogram is 2 opposite so pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. This is parallel to this. This side is parallel to this side. 
Now, what's a property of a parallelogram? Well, it might be interesting to look at the distances of these sides. So if I wanted to know the distance of A to D, I would need to use the distance formula. So if I do that, my distance would be the square root of subtracting the x-coordinates squared plus subtracting the y-coordinates and squaring the result. And I get the square root of 34, which comes out to be 5.83. Now, you should certainly practice doing the distance calculation by hand. You'll be expected to do that. But we can ask GeoGebra to calculate all our distances for us. So if I want to know a distance, I can find the distance or length and click on this segment and it says 5.83. I click on this segment, it's also 5.83. This side is 3.16 and this side here is also 3.16. So this is an important property of a parallelogram. And that property is that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. The segments have equal length. This concludes our investigation of parallelograms.